How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews. Back to the end of the review. A little bit more. Those Colorado GMs in the form of Weldworks Brewing it is their leg of glove. Uh, this is a hazy double IPA. And brewed with Mosaic Michigan. Oh, yeah, jumping the shark here. Mosaic and Michigan Copper Hops. Uh, I kind of talked about that when I did the unboxing for this. This beer comes courtesy of Carson. Thank you very much, brother. He, um, uh, that you don't see Michigan Copper Hops a ton, I should say you haven't, but they're making a huge comeback, and I'm kind of curious to see how they play in the traditionally kind of hazy producing brewery. So we'll see what's what. Dive into this sucker. This is a this is a double IPA here. What do we have? Ba, 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 ba. Eight point one percent. So she has a bit of half to her. Bum, 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 bum. I just realized I opened this before I'm opening a smaller IPA. So we'll see how that fares. Maybe I'll skip that one. Usually. Do a couple beer reviews when I do my reviews. This is a Wednesday. Usually I don't do them on Wednesdays, but that happens. Um, I mean, that's all the fruit juice. That is o OJ all the way. Index finger, just south of the khaki colored head. Pretty rocky all around the top. This painting, eh, not super quick, but kind of getting there. And label-wise, I dig this, man. It's just, uh, I mean, like a glove. You're talking about, you know, Jim Carrey. Uh, you're talking about East Ventura. But something about this, I don't know. There's an outline here from hop to hop. And it's doing something. Oh, it's Michigan. God damn it. I was like, what is that shape? That is Michigan. So they're talking about a kind of showcasing those Michigan copper hops here. So it's a copper hop and the outline of Michigan. Duh. Sometimes power of suggestion does not work that well on me. But yeah, I actually really dig this label. It's pretty cool. So yeah, it looks like a big old hazy. Let's see what the nose has. Hmm. I mean, it does have a rich kind of OJ vibe to it. So that kind of uh, be a little placebo effect, but at the same time, power suggestion, that whole thing going on. But I think it's actually there, but there is an herbally spiciness to, to it. I won't go so far as to say it's a dank. It's somewhere between like a West Coast hop and an old school English hop. So if you're going to take a Cascade and kind of marry it with a little bit of kind of Kent Golding Fuggly stuff, that's kind of where it's landing in here. And it kind of works pretty well in combination. <sighs> with that mosaic i mean there is a little bit of rankiness to it so i dig that but it just smells it smells like a really hazy version of a new school midwest kind of ipa kind of makes sense with what they're doing with it there's a nice sweetness to it but nothing over the top i kind of not sure where this one's gonna go as far as taste goes but what i can tell is just viscerally from a distance nosy likes it let's dive in cheers okay I can get down with that. Um, comes off a bit then. There's a bit of a bittering that I attribute not just to hops, but a little bit of carbonic acid. That kind of knocks down a little bit of mouthfeel too. So it comes off a little bit seltzery to me. It does lean heavily into that OJ vibe. And it does a really nice job of it. But that carbonic acid, that seltzer vibe, really does push down a bit of the enjoyability at least for me, when it comes to how that kind of fruit juiciness kind of plays off. There is a bittering from those Michigan Copper Hops. It comes off like a more like spicy tea-like bittering, but nothing too over the top. It's there, but it's very much trumped by that seltzer the kind of bitterness um, uh, and the combination of those OJ vibes. So what this comes off to me, honestly, I'm going to tell you right now, it is beer. I'm not going to say it doesn't taste like beer, but it tastes to me like if you made a screwdriver with a splash of, with a decent splash of seltzer water in it you know what i mean so it's like throw some oj in there a little bit of vodka a little bit of seltzer water because you're getting that little bit it's not boozy but you know it's a beer you know those alcohol involved that oj gives you those oj vibes but also gives you that sweetener that maltiness that you get from beers and that seltzer adds that carbonic aspect that kind of makes you think okay i'm drinking a screwdriver comes very much like a screwdriver for me probably one of the closest beverages beer wise i've had close closest to like a mixed drink to be perfectly honest with you listen when i was a kid i would drink screwdrivers i thought they were tasty and i thought there was being like fucking some kind of like aristocrat or some shit like i was being fancy pants when i drank screwdrivers so this reminds me of that and i haven't had one in years and while it kind of ticks a couple boxes it kind of works it kind of works, but it doesn't work for me in a way that I'm going gaga for it. It's almost like a blend, though. You want to mix it with a little bit of, um, here you go. Here's even a better example. We're going to get really complicated here. This is mixology, massive mixology reviews. OJ, seltzer water, uh, vodka, 
gin and um you know uh, that not seltzer or tonic water with a little bit of quinine you have to do that to knock out that ginness because it tastes like it does have that spicy copper michigan copper hop has that little bit of subtle botanical thing going on that's where this one lands for me so kind of like a weird kind of mixed drink thing going on and i like it it just doesn't really kind of wow me when it comes to the hazy beer category that's just me, though. I think I could see a lot of people really digging on this beer. So let's talk about it. One of the better double IPAs I've had as of late. For me, it's actually still worthy of being in a conversation just in getting towards the top because it comes off more mixed drink than it does beer. Value availability? No idea. Maybe Carson, somebody out there in the West Coast, West-ish Coast can let me know what's what and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like, you know, screwdrivers and gin and tonics in which they both had a baby and a very beer-laden world. This will do you proper. Or if carbonic acid doesn't bother you at all. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully enjoying a nice little uh, hazy right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.